Hey guys, it's Sunday, August 31. I'm Jam Drummer Jan Taatop. And this is Jam Online TV. So, bakit nga ba pumunta si Yugo para sa Pilipinas? At ano nga bang bagong dalawang wearables na in-announced last week? So, malalaman natin ngayon yan sa Jam Online TV. So, dito muna tayo sa Samsung Gear S. Ang bagong wearable device ni Samsung, <coughs> as you can see, it has a curved display. Yes, it's curved just like the Samsung Gear Fit. And this time, meron siyang home button katulad ng Samsung Gear 2. Unfortunately, if nag-home kayo ng Android Wear to, nope, it's Tizen. Pero, may feature to nakakaiba kaysa sa other smartwatch. This has 3G and Wi-Fi. Yes, you can call and you can even text on this Samsung Gear S. So, para mo ba kayo makakong dito kung hindi kayo gagawin naman siguro? Well, you need a Bluetooth earphones. I, or headset or whatever and, or you can use your smartphone para ma-forward yung call um, um, ang isa pa dito na unique feature ay meron siyang turn by turn navigation by hair map so if narinig nyo na hair maps meron siya sa mga windows devices like the nokia smart wrap yung sa nokia yung dati yung gear at yung nokia pa pala siya ngayon um, yun yung hindi binili ni microsoft sa nokia the gear services so meron siyang turn by turn navigation dito sa samsung gear s and ang gusto ko dito yung kanyang design look, it's curved um, and look at the watch face, so sana makapag-download pa ng watch face so it has a 2 inch super AMOLED curved display um, a 1 gigahertz dual core processor 5 dog ambient from 4 inch internal storage of course 3 and of course meron din siyang heart rate sensor na tulad ng Samsung Gear 2 um, it's powered by Tizen and yes pero siyang 3G so makapag-internet kayo dito so very interesting yung Samsung Gear S unfortunately wala pa rin tayong price um, abangan natin ngayon this, sa, this week sa Samsung IFA 2014 announcement kung saan i-announce sa Samsung Galaxy Note 4 at iba pang devices so probably kasama na ito ng Samsung Gear S at iba pang devices so I'm also hoping yung Samsung Gear VR sa virtual reality na headset kung saan si Note mo parang mag nasa bagong video ka na diba? so sana hindi na mag-disappoint sa si Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and as of this moment interested ako sa Samsung Gear S basta malapang kayong price na kasi hindi ako may interest dito kung wala siyang price of course, dito naman tayo sa susunod na wearable ang LG G Watch R. So, just like the Moto 360, ginaya na na LG ang circular display. Pero this one has a yung sporty look unlike the Motorola na medyo simple lang na pilog pero with the bezel sa ilanin. Ang, ang Moto 360 yun ha, pero the G Watch R is complete circle without the bezel sa baba. Look, it's very clean, sporty. It looks wonderful for me ha. It's powered by Android where actually the specifications of the LG G Watch R is very similar to the G Watch except that it's round, right? So G Watch R is the G Watch with the R because it's round, diba? So yeah, um, it's the LG G Watch R, the, the specifications is um, 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 bars. So isipin nyo, mas malakas pa yung, yung, yung smartwatch nyo kaysa doon sa mga smartphone nyo. It has a 1.3 inch, uh, probably that's the diameter, the 1.3 inch. POLED display, um, there's a 4 gig of um, internal storage, wow, 512 MB of RAM, for, and uh, it will have a heart rate sensor, of course, meron na rin heart rate sensor, and mas mataas yung battery niya uh, with plus 10, that, that's um, 410 mAh of battery, so don't expect a dramatic change from the G-Watch, with G-Watch R, so basically this is the circular uh, variant of G-Watch, and probably this looks total. I'm interested in this one, but it's also the Moto 360. But I'm still using the smartwatch too. So, and so yung po. Dito po tayo sa next na Xiaomi device. Ito yung dahil ako bakit nandito si Yugo para ang Xiaomi Redmi 1S. Yes, this is the affordable smartphone na Xiaomi. Pero kahit affordable siya, napaka-powerful niya thanks to the Snapdragon 400 processor. Um, so the Xiaomi Redmi 1X has a 1.6 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 400 processor. Um, there's a gig of RAM, 4.7 inch HD IPS display, um, 8 gig of internal storage with micro SD card slot, syempre. 8 megapixel rear camera, 1.6 megapixel front camera, of course there's 3G. It's dual SIM, you know guys, it's dual SIM and like the Mi 3. And it's powered by Android 4.3 with um, MIUI. Ang interesting dito is kanyang price. So, um, 
most of these smartphones may ganto price is about uh, 7,000. Ang pinaka actually ang pinaka mura na sa this moment yata na may Snapdragon 400 is the Asus Zenfone 5. Pero the Xiaomi Redmi 1S will be priced at 5,600 pesos and it will be available on September 4th sa Lazada lang siya. Sa Lazada lang siya, just like a new tree. Uh, so, ano ba masasabi ko dito yung Xiaomi Redmi 1S? Well, if your budget is at um, 5, 6, uh, below 6,500, probably you'll get the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. Pero at 6,500, um, medyo mas malakas na pao ang PC si um, Asus Zenfone 5 pero mas gusto ko yung ecosystem and yung price point ni Xiaomi Redmi pero take note ha, the Asus Zenfone 5 at 6.5 has an 8GB of storage katulad nito pero ito has a 2GB of RAM it is powered by Intel processor kung saan medyo may mga apps na hindi pa compatible with that versus Snapdragon 400 mas marami compatible and mas mura to na 900 pesos and unfortunately magiging available lang to sa Lazada katulad ng Xiaomi Mi 3 so September 4, 12pm para mag magkakausan na naman sa, sa Lazada ng mga stocks ng Xiaomi Redmi 1S um Interest din ako dito sa device na to. Actually, magkakamera ko na hala sa one video nito. So, abangan nyo po yun sa channel ko at bit.ly slash jam or like TV. So, meron din po silang iya. Darating pa na Xiaomi products sa September 4. Katulad nung um, piston earphones na kung saan sobrang, sobrang, sobrang excited ako para doon. Kasi ang ganda ng performance. At lalo na pag naka Xiaomi ni Kika. And then, you have the piston earphones ng Xiaomi. Interesting. It's 659. So, it's one of the most affordable na earphones with a great performance. Uh, meron din siya syempre available ng mga stickers and, eh, stickers, I'm sorry, the, the cover screen protector. Pag siya Xiaomi Redmi 1S, um, nag-aalala kayo sa scratches. So, I think that's it for this week sa Jump Online TV. So, dito na po tayo sa raffle. Opo, sa raffle. So, dito na po tayo sa Jamal uh, giveaway kung saan nanalo po sila ng Samsung GT E2 E1272. Hindi ko sa ulo yung model number. So, i-click ko na po and malalaman na po natin na random winner kung saan mananalo po sila ng Samsung uh, feature phone. Flip phone. It's interesting. So, at the winner? So, abangan po natin kung sino winner. Congratulations kay... Um, Geraldine Tolentino uh, So, nag-share po siya na yung ano na, what, Oh yeah, nag-share po siya uh, Check po natin if na, na-share nga po niya uh, Giveaway po natin So, ayan po, sinare po ni Geraldine Tolentino uh, Giveaway po natin So, congratulations Geraldine Tolentino I'll contact you um, if, Kailangan niyo po mag-respond within a week Doon sa message ko Probably sa Facebook So, baka niyo po yun sa Facebook app, siyempre. Facebook, kaya nga sa Facebook, diba? So, congratulations, Gerald din to Lentino. Congratulations ulit. Siya po yung nanalo eh. So, if um, gusto nyo malaman ng mga latest news sa technology, huwag nyo pong kalimutan visitahin ang link ko. Ang bit.ly slash jamonline.tv. Yes po. Lagay nyo po lang yan sa address bar. Kaya, hindi po yung nakakaps lang. Huwag nyo po yung kakaps lang kung para huwag po kayo um, maritire sa ibang page. Um, Re-retire po kayo sa YouTube channel ko para po mapanood nyo ang latest episodes ng Jam Online TV. So, abangan nyo po yun every weekend. Meron po akong bago episode ng Jam Online TV. So, probably meron din akong bago hazard. And, kung ano ba kalakuan? Actually, meron kaayos ba ang challenge nyo? Hindi nyo rin para masaya. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Yes, give us a thumbs up. And if hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe sa channel ko, well, mag-subscribe na po kayo sa channel ko sa Jam Online TV. So once again, I'm Jam of JeromeManchetta.com and thanks for watching Jam Online TV. So see you next week.